हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजेक्शन बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू ऑल फॉर गिविंग मी सच वंडरफुल रिस्पॉन्स टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव ट्राई टू इनकॉर्पोरेट द फीडबैक गिवन बाय मोस्ट ऑफ यू इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इन द फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोस वी हैव सीन हाउ प्लास्टिक फील्स द पार्ट एंड वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट कूलिंग पैरामीटर्स that affect the quality of the injection molding so today we are going to discuss very important aspect of injection molding that is warpage design principles so typically most of the plastic part that we use in our day to day life are having some kind of a deformity or uh, we expect premature failures so let us understand why this happens in this session so in this section uh, in this uh, presentation there are two sections in the first section we will understand the definitions of shrinkage and warpage variables affecting shrinkage and in the section 2 we will study the basic causes of shrinkage and warpage okay so let us start understanding the definition of shrinkage and warpage shrinkage is a geometric reduction in the size of the product the product does not deform it simply becomes smaller whereas warpage results when shrinkage is not uniform if regions of part shrink unequally stresses are created within the part which depending on upon the part thickness or the part strength may deform the part variables affecting the shrinkage typically there are six important variables holding pressure or packing pressure holding time or packing time the mill temperature the mold temperature the rate of injection at which the part uh, molten material is injected in the mold and the wall thickness of the part so let us understand the effect of each and every variable on the shrinkage so we are going to define the relationship of each variable on y axis we are taking shrinkage and on x axis its holding pressure so the relationship of shrinkage versus holding pressure is non linear at a low holding pressure the shrinkage is high as you go on increasing the holding pressure the shrinkage increases so this is how the graph would look like now with shrinkage with the holding time so again on y axis we have shrinkage and on x x axis we have holding time so at if the less and at, at lower holding time that is you apply less holding time the shrinkage will obviously become high but as soon as you increase the holding time the shrinkage will reduce and again here the relationship is non linear however at a particular given point of time when the gate start freezing even if you increase the holding time the shrinkage does not reduce further so it becomes constant after the gate freezes shrinkage versus melt temperature again on x axis we have shrinkage and on y sorry on y axis we have shrinkage and on x axis we have melt temperature so this is how the relationship of shrinkage versus melt temperature at lower melt temperature the pressure to fill the cavity is high hence the orientation in the direction of flow occurs in the part this increases the shrinkage as you increase the melt temperature the pressure to fill the cavity is reduced and the orientation levels are reduced drastically hence the shrinkage is low and more uniform and the part quality obtained is much better at higher temperature the time to freeze the melt temperature melt is in increases 
and it results into higher shrinkage. Shrinkage versus mold temperature. At lower mold temperature, the shrinkage is less because the pl plastic melt freezes very soon. As you increase the mold temperature, the plastic melt takes more time to shrink and hence it can shrink more. Shrinkage versus injection rate. Again, the shape is similar to what we have seen in case of melt temperature. At lower injection rates, the pressure to fill the cavity is high. This results into higher levels of orientation and hence the shrinkage is more. As we increase the injection rate, the shear heating takes place and it results into drop in the viscosity and a rise in the melt temperature. The pressure to fill is reduced and orientation levels are reduced. Hence the shrinkage is less and more uniform. At higher injection rates, the shear heating increases the melt temperature substantially. This results into increased time to freeze the melt mold. Hence, shrinkage is more. Shrinkage versus wall thickness. The wall thickness is less, the shrinkage is less. As you increase the wall thickness, shrinkage increases. So as you can see, all these six variables have impact on the shrinkage of the part and shrinkage is the driving factor for the warpage. Basic causes of shrinkage and warpage, volumetric shrinkage, crystallinity or crystalline content, stress relaxation, orientation. Volumetric shrinkage. Shrinkage of the plastic component is driven by the volumetric change of the material as it cools from melt, melt state to solid state. Relationship between the volumetric shrinkage and a linear shrinkage of the component is affected by the mold restraint, crystallinity, and orientation. Now let us understand the two the PVT diagram of a typical metal polystyrene. So and polypropylene, which most commonly used metal. On y-axis we have specific volume that is inverse of uh, gravity, cc up per gram, and x-axis we have temperature. So you can see for polystyrene, as we increase the temperature, the volume increases and it continues to increase. Uh, when it starts melting. You can see different graphs for different pressure levels like from 20 megapascal to 40 to 60 to 80 and 160. However, the nature of the polypropylene is more crystalline in nature and hence you have specific uh, or sharp melting region. Hence these graphs are having this particular jump. Okay, now let us understand for polystyrene, which is equally good for poly polypropylene also. So typically point A in this figure indicates specific volume at a room temperature and pressure. Point B, that is this point, indicates the specific volume at a typical molding temperature. So point B denotes the specific volume of polystyrene material, molten polystyrene material at 20 megapascals in pressure. Now as you increase the pressure from 20 to 40 to 60, what happens is point C indicates the specific volume of at a typical molding and holding pressure. Okay. So by studying the figure carefully, it is clear that it is impractical to Eliminate the shrinkage by 
simple application of pressure alone there will be certain shrinkage even if you increase the holding pressure next factor crystallinity some polymer melts tend to crystallize as they cool down to mold temperature the degree of crystallinity depends on cooling rate faster the cooling rate the lower levels of crystallinity and hence the shrinkage is low slow cooling rates result into high degree of crystallinity and hence high shrinkage degree of crystallinity also depend on orientation levels higher levels of orientation result in low crystallinity if polymer molecules inside the mold are oriented in a specific direction it will result into lower levels of crystallinity and hence the shrinkage will be less stress relaxation inside the mold the material is constrained in the direction of the mold walls but it is free to shrink along the thickness as the material tries to shrink in its own plane stresses are created due to mold resistance because mold is made of steel and it is very strong as compared to plastic so it imposes a restraint for polymer made to shrink in that particular direction these stresses relax at a rate which depend upon the relaxation characteristic of the material and the temperature history of the part the cooling rate has a significant effect on the degree of relaxation higher mold temperatures will allow relaxation Materials which relax slowly will be highly stressed inside the cavity, and so will spring up the mold and exhibit higher linear shrinkage. Materials which relax quickly will tend to conform to the cavity dimensions and therefore have lower linear shrinkage. The first part, first type of material that is polypropylene or a, a polyethylene group of materials (HDP, LDP), you know, they they relax slowly. and that's why they are highly stressed inside a cavity and as soon as the mold opens they spring off the cavity of the mold and exhibit higher linear shrinkage in fact uh, they continue to shrink for over a period of time hence i would always recommend to measure the parts if made of polypropylene after 48 hours of molding whereas amorphous materials like abs polycarbonate and they relax quickly and they tend to conform to the cavity dimensions and hence they have lower linear shrinkage for a given volumetric shrinkage materials that relax slowly will have higher linear shrinkage than those with rapid relaxation characteristics orientation orientation causes different shrinkage along and across the direction of the flow for materials that crystallize closer packing can occur perpendicular to the flow and hence this increases the shrinkage across the flow relative to shrinkage in the direction of the flow the opposite thing happens thank you so we have now understood uh, the difference between shrinkage and warpage and what are the factors affecting the shrinkage and warpage i hope you like my presentation and if you like please hit like button and i request you to all to subscribe to the my channel thank you